The Hamilton County Sheriff is saying goodbye to a piece of military hardware that his department got for free from the federal government. It's the latest in what he calls leaning up their inventory. But Nine on Your Side, Scott Wegener tells us he was also glad to get rid of it because of some image issues. The walls of Sheriff Jim Neal's conference room are filled with pictures of his men and equipment. And most of that equipment gets used. We have the bomb squads. We have the Marine Patrol. We have SWAT teams. We have dive teams. But some of it, like this submarine, weren't exactly getting put into much action. And the sheriff, faced with budget cuts, had to jettison the watercraft. We need to lean up a little bit here to be more efficient. And now the latest casualty, this armored personnel carrier, affectionately known as the tank. The sheriff says the only action it has ever seen was in parades. I do not recall any time we actually used it. But beyond the fact that they don't need it, it was also done away with because of its appetite for asphalt. That vehicle was just not practical because it runs on tracks instead of tires which would tear up pavement and driveways. And there was a third reason. Sheriff Neal doesn't want even the appearance that his department is connected to the military. Yes, it did factor into the decision. As for the tank... We sent it to a good home out in Jackson County, Ohio, where it's a very rural area, and they can use that vehicle. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Cincinnati.